That's the second level. Third level is this, what I call the Ford Foundation Church of the Final Counterinsurgency. In other words, Trinity United Church of Christ, Jeremiah Wright, Dwight Hopkins, a Ford Foundation fellow, um, Otis Moss III, another Ford Foundation grant recipient, James Cone. That is this black liberation theology, which is a, essentially a doctrine of, of hatred and it, to perpetuate racial conflict rather than to get rid of it. Another level, Larry Sinclair and Donald Young. Donald Young, the choir master of that church, found dead in, uh, right before Christmas of last year. He was the gay choir master in Wright's church. Larry Sinclair is a gay man who said that he had a homosexual encounter twice with Obama in 1999 with Obama using crack cocaine. I would urge people to look into Larry Sinclair, his allegations. It's been up on the Internet since uh, the middle of January. Millions and millions of hits on that. Uh, he gave a press conference here at the National Press Club and was then arrested. Arrested on a warrant signed by Bo Biden, the uh, Attorney General of Delaware, son of Joe Biden, the senator who's trying to become either vice president. And it turned out it was fake, yeah. It's, it's trumped up charges, uh, but they're continuing to persecute him. In other words, Larry Sinclair is in danger and he deserves the support of people who don't want to have a, a presidential campaign under Gestapo yeah. conditions. Another layer, Ilyas Akhmadov is a Chechen ambassador of the Chechen terrorist group. They've killed more than a thousand people. Uh, Ilyas Akhmadov is living here in Washington at U.S. government expense, taxpayer expense. He gets an apartment, a secretary, an office, a travel budget, a PR budget, and a nice stipend that most people could not afford. And the reason he's here is because Big New Brzezinski lobbied, because Big New Brzezinski is so consumed by hatred of Russia that he wants Akhmadov here. And others. And then we have this Get Whitey tape, the famous Hate Whitey tape by Michelle Obama, which uh, is clearly in the air and is likely to be brought out after the Democratic convention is over, I would just say to the people on the Republican side, don't be like that Japanese admiral at the Battle of Midway trying to get everything perfect before you launch the attack, because you may get hit first, as the Elliott Spitzer case shows. So that tape is in the background. So we've got at least six or seven layers. All right, Webster, stay there. We just got 20 minutes left. Where they we're going to open the phones up at 1-800-259-9231. Store right here in the room next to me, online bookstore, infowars.com. Get it today. Obama, the postmodern coup, Webster Griffin. Tarbley, while you're at it, get Truth Rising, my new 9 11 film, Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Hey, Tarbley, have you uh, seen my uh, new film, Endgame, yet? I'm afraid I haven't. I've been just doing Obama, wall to wall Obama. Let me tell you one thing, though, Alex. In, uh, in Amsterdam, I was just in Amsterdam, Holland uh, last uh, Tuesday to give a talk in the series they had their docks at the docks uh it, they have it every couple of months they'd had cynthia mckinney they had a few others and eventually they got they got to me the main anti-bilderberg publisher in uh the netherlands is a guy called rene van praag p-r-a-a-g and he uh gave me an idea that i i wanted to share with you that you should write a book in addition to everything else you've done you should somehow boil down your approach the things into a book and he would be interested in uh, in in looking into it with you he's uh, he's put out a tremendous thing it's a comic book called agent orange it's an attack on prince bernard the founder of the bilderberger group showing bernard as an sa stormtrooper and uh, otherwise you know nazi back in the uh, in the 1920s and 30s so the guy's got some pretty good uh, things going in his publishing house so maybe you need to get into the book dimension in addition to everything else <laughs> I, I did put Descent into Tyranny out, and we are working on a book right now, 1984 to 1776 is the name of it, and it's, it's basically an overview of everything we do and, and what our philosophy is. That's a good idea. Uh, let's, uh, let's cover any other issues you think are important, Webs, before we take calls. Uh, just one more, just so people can, can keep on top of it. The, the face of false flag terrorism in the future, right? Again, I don't think it's going to be Islamic fundamentalist anymore. The only place they use Islamic fundamentalism now is to invade 
northwest uh, Pakistan. But I just uh, let me just tick off a bunch of faces, and then you can put together a composite of the next false flag. One of the reasons the, the ruling elite wants Obama is they think with Obama you could do false flag again because Obama could say it and then they would believe it, whereas if McCain or, or Hillary said it, they wouldn't believe it. And that was in the Atlantic Monthly from Andrew Sullivan. The new face, the Unabomber, right? ecological terrorism, Earth first, this kind of stuff. Secondly, the guy that I just mentioned, Elias Akhmadov as a figure for Chechen terrorism. And, of course, it's not just Chechen terrorism against the Russians, but it's every little group, the Basques, uh, the Kurds, it's every group that wants dignity. This is Brzezinski's slogan, is that everybody deserves a mini-state or a micro-state according to their own personal characteristics. And that, of course, means the balkanization of the world so that J.P. Morgan Chase and, the, and the Exxon Mobil can run wild. That's the uh, Roman management system. Yes. Uh, and, and again, the Bernard Lewis plan, of course, just balkanization, right? Divide and conquer. Kazmierczak, remember him, the northern Illinois shooter, the guy who was a student who had left-wing social concerns. He was concerned about social justice. And, of course, Cho, right, the shooter at Virginia Tech, uh, a psychotic student. But, of course, look at him. He looks like he's Chinese. He's Korean, but close enough. Uh, he's not a Manchurian shooter. He's a Korean shooter right next door. So a Chinese who's crazy and who's shooting. Another one. Litvinenko, Litvinenko uh, of the KGB, remember him, the radiological terrorism case in London. So a Russian with nuclear terrorism. And then finally this FARC, right, the Betancourt. They did the whole media circus around this guerrilla movement supported to, to some degree by Venezuela or at least verbally that operates inside Colombia. The goal there is typical Brzezinski. When a neocon looks at Venezuela, the neocon says, bomb them right away, invade them. Brzezinski says, you can't do that. You're too weak. You're too bankrupt. You're too isolated. Don't do it. All right, Webster, uh, we're going to take this break, come back with you in the final segment, and take phone calls. Everybody stay with us. We're interviewing the author of Obama, the postmodern coup, Webster Griffin Tarbley. Get the book at Infowars.com right now. Final segment with Webster Griffin Tarbley. I did find his his Canada speech uh, very interesting to say the least. It's uh, you just type into Google v nine one one truth dot org and watch it. It's it's very interesting. I'm watching some clips during the breaks, but I did identify and find that. But uh, I can understand his fears. Uh, and uh, you know, looking for the establishment, trying to find some popular movement to hijack. But that certainly wasn't Ron Paul. That certainly wasn't what we saw there, and uh, that was clear to me. And I think he's been very, very healthy for uh, the planet and for people out there to think and understand the Federal Reserve is not their friend, the inflation tax, everything that's happening. I want to go to Peggy, Lynn, Don, Nina, and others here in a moment, Webster, in the 15 minutes or so we have left, or 14 minutes we have left with you. Uh, but... Uh, in closing, what do you think is going to happen with the economy? What are the bankers that, that own the planet planning to do with that? We know it's a carbon tax paid directly to them and some other things, but I want Webster Tarpley's take on that. Well, the Obama program, as he suggested in that uh, no SUVs, no eating as much as you want, no setting the temperature where you want, is going to be extreme austerity, but with left cover. For the polar bears to save the planet, global warming, this entire demagogic package of Al Gore and, and Prince Charles. So he'll be demanding global austerity for uh, global warming. By the way, let me just show people this. This is Infowars.net story. British kids encouraged to become climate cops. Uh, ads in all the major newspapers saying, report on your parents, create a dossier on them, watch them, report on them. They wear red, black, and white uniforms with khaki, uh, Nazi uh, outfits, and there's a polar bear there behind them who's their buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or a panda, of course. Um, so anyway, it's it's going to be killer austerity, crushing austerity. I, my calculation is the U.S. living standard is already down 60% from uh, the LBJ period, approximately. Yeah, from and the now they'd like to cut that in half again uh, under the auspices now of left cover. If there's a strike wave, they want Obama in the in the White House to be able to break 
uh, a nationwide strike wave or, or general strike, which might well well emerge. And on the global scale, it's, it's the same thing. Now, none of this will make any difference, because remember, what's coming down is 1,000 trillion of derivatives. One quadrillion of derivatives have gone into reverse leverage. And the total and crisis, the, the total crisis, according to other economics, uh, economists we talked to, is 6,000 trillion. 6,000 trillion. Yes. Well, that's an interesting um, figure. I'm just going, yes, I'm going by derivatives, and I think the, the best estimate I could get is about one quadrillion. So it's 1,000 trillion, but I, I would perfectly, I was it, it seeming to me that it would probably be up to 1.2, 1.5 if we were up to 6. Who says 6, Alex? Well, I've had a lot of different uh, guests on saying the total amount of, of, of debt packages, credit cards, mortgages, uh, all the different types of derivatives and leveraging out there, they say it's around 6,000 trillion.